Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, as we've just been discussing, the business secretary is under pressure to publish the details of assurances he gave to Nissan, which led to the car manufacturer committing to continue production of its cars in Sunderland post-Brexit. Here's what Mr Clark told Andrew Marr on BBC One yesterday. Well, it's in no more of the interest of the, uh, for there to be tariff barriers uh, to the continent uh, and, and vice versa. So what, what I said is that our objective would be to ensure that we have uh, continued access uh, to these, this, the, the markets in Europe uh, and vice versa without uh, mm. tariffs and without bureaucratic uh, impediments. And that is what we will, how we will approach those negotiations. Greg Clark there. Should he just publish the letter? Well, I, I don't think so, but he's been quite open about uh, the discussions that he's had uh, with Nissan, and I'm sure that there will be more that he will say in the, uh, in the meeting later today. Right. I and mean, I think this is quite normal, and it would be quite weird if a, if a business uh, didn't use um, uh, Brexit as a, as a, as a way of uh, furthering its own... Uh, its own aim. And, so, um, and successfully, it seems sure. so, in the case of Nissan. I well, suppose I what other is... car makers will be saying is, are we going to get the same deal? Well, I think what um, we want to do is to reassure business um, and any company that's periodically reviewing, uh, either staying in the UK or, or relocating, mm. that uh, it's, it's best uh, investing here. Of course, but what's but what's been dangled in front of Nissan? What have they been offered to make them stay? Because they certainly, by all intents and purposes, reports were saying they were considering leaving. So what's the government promised? No, and will I the taxpayer have to pay for, the, pay for it? I think this is really about ensuring that business has confidence uh, in, in this government, but also uh, that it can do business and remain in the Isn't UK. this a good idea, Debbie Abrahams, to do sector-by-sector -sector deals where you could have free trade arrangements for the car industry, for for example, to ensure that companies like Nissan stay put? What we want to see is the, the detail of that. Sure. So, but is it a good idea? Well, I'm not, I'm not too sure because I haven't seen the detail, to be, <laughs> to be honest. So uh, if we have a look well, at the tr transparency of the... Uh, by, by, have, by publishing the letter, we get a, an opportunity to analyse whether it has been a good idea or not. Right, well, he has so, said quite a lot, hasn't he? He well, has said, that, really. there be, he said so, that there wouldn't well, be tariffs he's... placed on goods. So it, it, would, that be, would that be an assurance if enough that... for you? There seems to be, because we also had the interview last uh, night of the, the boss from, from Nissan, was tr which was implying one thing, which wasn't quite what... Uh, well, all right, Greg but let's, let's take Greg, so let's let's take Greg Clark at his word and what he said. There, there won't be any impediments, <laughs> there wouldn't be any tariffs that would be put on car manufacturers when uh, exporting. Would that be a good deal? Obviously, we want to try and make sure um, that our, our companies and our businesses uh, in the UK are able to tra right. trade as freely yeah. as possible so, yes. with Europe. But, but we need to see the detail, Joe. I mean, that's what's so important, because if, if uh, Nissan are getting a, a sweetener um, through the taxpayers, you rightly say, then why, why couldn't we be providing it to another business? Right. Oh, and the sweetener might be that in the end, if we can't offer you, or we can't keep that assurance of tariff-free trade, then we'll compensate you. Would that be all right for the well, government to say, taxpayers will fund compensation if we cannot keep our promise of tariff-free trade? Well, I think Greg Clark's been quite um, straightforward in his Marr interview yesterday. Well, about we don't know about that, do uh, we? Uh, well, he, he did say that, uh, you know, there wasn't sort of, you know, money dangled in order to uh, uh, secure them re remaining in the in the UK. W what I would be sort of slightly more optimistic, as you'd expect from someone that supported <laughs> the, the Leave camp, about the fact that I think common sense will prevail, that uh, businesses in Europe will want to trade with us, uh, just as we do with them, and that uh, some oh, of the yeah. obstacles that are being floated, mm -hmm. I think, will not come to pass. Well, let's see what happens. Mm. We'll hear more from Greg Clark. So